it's Eugenia. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a personality test and finding out who I am as a person. I actually found out about this personality test like really really recently. It was actually somebody with the name Pippin told me about it on you now. I'm just going to like take this test right now. So I have my computer right here and I'm about to get up the quiz. This is supposed to be a really accurate quiz. It says it's so incredible to be finally understood. I'm gonna answer the questions and just kinda tell you guys how I feel about them and then we're gonna see what results I get. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. Yes, for the most part, I do agree with that. I always kinda feel like I'm bothering people and I'm always like, oh my gosh, like that person might not like me very much. I'm gonna put like the mostly agree, yay! Cause it's like a little scale of answers. You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. I do that a lot, so I'm gonna say that I I agree with that. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. I'd say I agree with that, but I'm not always the best at that because sometimes I kind of get distracted with other stuff. You do not usually initiate conversations. I usually don't because a lot of time I kind of feel like I'm like annoying people. I'm like, oh no, everyone hates me. You rarely do something out of sheer curiosity. I would say I mostly disagree with that because sometimes I do like to do stuff out of curiosity. You feel superior to other people. No, I completely disagree with that. I definitely do not feel superior to other people. Being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. No, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I like to be adaptable. I kind of just think I'm more of kind of like a go with the flow kind of person than a really, really organized person. I disagree with that. I'm not like that. You are usually highly motivated and energetic. I, I guess so, for the most part. I, I don't know. <laughs> Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. I definitely agree with that. I always never want to make anyone upset. I always feel like it's better to like make people happy than to be like winning or like proving your point or whatever. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't know if that's always like the best way to be, but if people ever think I'm doing anything wrong or anything like that, like I really never try to. So I really always just kind of want to show people that I'm not doing that and like be trying to make everyone happy even though sometimes it's like impossible. Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Well, I mean you guys can't exactly see this room right now and it might look pretty clean but trust me, my room is actually pretty messy right now. It's not like dirty or anything, it's just more messy. It's definitely not dirty. I'm gonna say it's like mostly disagree though. You do not mind being at the center of attention. I mean, if I'm like out in like public or anything like that, I don't ever really like try to draw attention towards myself. I do do YouTube and stuff like that. I guess that's kind of like making yourself like get attention in a way just because like you're putting videos online or like doing whatever. So I don't know. I guess I'm just going to say neutral. You consider yourself more practical than creative. Disagree. I like to be more creative than practical. I'm not always too practical, so yeah. People can rarely upset you. Yeah, like I'm gonna say I mostly agree with that. I don't ever really like to get angry at people or ever try to find like problems with people. So people don't really get them angry with me. I mean, sometimes I get upset, but I would never want to like show people that. Even if I'm like upset, then it would be more me just kind of being sad. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. There's been certain times where I've just kind of like randomly went on like a last minute trip. Not like too often, but I've done that sometimes. I actually think it's really fun to just like do things like out of nowhere. I actually really like to do things like that. A lot of trips I do go on though, like or have been on, have been planned. So I don't know. I'm going to say like maybe slightly disagree. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Mostly disagree with that because I always like to try to be like an understanding person and to understand where people are coming from on things. And then sometimes when I hear certain things people are going through, I definitely feel like I can, I've been in those kind of situations. I think everyone goes through those hard times in life and I've definitely felt like that. I can't say I relate to every single feeling because that would be crazy. I'm gonna say like mostly disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Like sometimes I can feel happy and suddenly I'll be sad. Yeah, my mood can change sometimes. 
In a discussion, truth should be more important than other people's sensitivities. I do think the truth is important, and I do think it's important to be honest. I feel like if in you, what you think you're doing is being honest, like sometimes if what you're saying is hurting other people or hurting their feelings, I always feel like it's more important to put people's feelings first. You really worry about how your actions affect other people. No, I completely disagree with that because I really do care about other people, and I would never want to do anything to hurt anyone or upset anyone like I actually really try not to do that. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to methol methodological and organized approach. <laughs> yes, definitely. You are often envious of others. No, I don't think I'm envious of others. I try to be happy for other people. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. Most of the time, that's true. <laughs> like certain video games when you start playing them like Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts, certain games are just so fun and addicting. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. I don't think so. I think a lot of the time, maybe if you're like making a project, then you might have a great idea like in the middle of it. You really get carried away by fantasy and ideas. I'm gonna say that I disagree. You often find yourself lost in thought when you are walking in nature. Sometimes if you're in like a really beautiful location, say yeah, I think so. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Sometimes I don't reply that fast not because I don't want to, but sometimes I'm just not good at replying. I do feel like that kind of a lot. I'll just always freak out and think everyone hates me. I would say I mostly agree with that. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. I definitely think it's more important, in my opinion, to be kind than to be smart. I always just feel like the most important thing in life is just to show love to other people. Um, and I mean, it's good to be smart, you know, then you can make like smart decisions, which is good. But I definitely feel like it's a lot more important to be kind. You do not let other people influence your actions. Mostly disagree because sometimes I kind of do. I kind of want to please everyone sometimes. Like I know it's not really possible to please everybody, but I'm always kind of someone who wants to do that and make other people happy. And I think a lot about that. And I know I can't do that with everyone. I know a lot of people don't like me and like don't just think I'm like the worst person ever, which is fine. But I try to make everyone happy and I do really think about what other people are saying a lot of the time. But I wouldn't do like bad things. Like let's say someone is trying to like influence me to like murder someone or something like that. Then I would never do that. Your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. My dreams tend to focus on catching Pikachus. So yeah, I mean, unless you think that's the real world, I don't know. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. I don't really go to too many workplaces. I would say that I would disagree if I did for the most part. I don't know, like I always try to be nice and stuff and like, you know, be a nice person to people. Like whenever I would go to school and stuff, I did not have good experiences. You are more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Yes, I definitely agree with that. I'm definitely more of an improviser than a planner. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. <gasps> that sounds so cool. That sounds like an anime convention. I've actually always wanted to go to one of those, but I haven't been. I'm gonna mostly agree. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. Yeah, I agree with that. Like even if things are unrealistic or kind of like impractical. I like to think about those things and sometimes I just end up doing that. So yeah, you would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. I definitely, yes, definitely agree. You are a relatively reserved and quiet person. Yeah, I would say that I, I pretty much, if you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. I would feel super bad, even if people maybe weren't doing the best job or whatever. I would feel really bad if they were like a nice person though. I feel like I would not be able to fire them. And plus, I, they could work on their skills anyway. Like I wouldn't want to tell them to because I would even feel bad doing that. But you know, people can get better at things, especially if they really like what they're doing. I always feel like if you practice at something, you can get better at anything you want to. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence. I do often contemplate that, yes. Contemplate, yeah. Uh -huh. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. I disagree. I'm gonna almost completely disagree. I know like maybe people think it's smart to use logic. I always like to listen to my heart more than my brain, I think. So yeah. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Yes, I agree. A friend is sad about something. You are more likely to offer emotional support then suggest ways to deal with the problem. Yeah, 
I'd say like I mostly agree. Like I might try to maybe give people a suggestion if they ask me for one. I don't always feel like I always know the best ways to deal with problems, but I would always want to be there for someone and try to make them feel better. You really feel insecure. Disagree. <laughs> you have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. Ah. Mostly disagree. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do that if I really had to, but I much prefer not to, and I feel like it's kind of difficult for me sometimes to like have like a schedule. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. Oh, I disagree. I think it's better to try to make people happy and work as a team. You think that everyone's views should be respected, regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not. Yes, I agree with that, because I think everyone has their right to their own opinion. I don't think anyone should like put anyone down for thinking differently. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. I would really say I like disagree a little bit, because it's not that like, I hate people or anything, but I'm like really awkward a lot. If I was like friends with the people, I feel great, that's awesome. A lot of time I'm really awkward, so I'm gonna like disagree a little. You frequently misplace your things. Yes, I lose things all the time. It's really bad. You see yourself as very emotionally stable. Do I see myself as emotionally stable? I don't know. I mean, I feel like sometimes I don't really know how to handle things. I disagree a little bit because I don't think I'm like emotionally unstable, like I'm crazy or anything like that. But sometimes I'm just like not the best at I'll be neutral, because I don't know. I don't really know what they mean by like emotionally stable. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Yes, I agree with that. You would not call yourself a dreamer. I would say I did call myself that. You usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Yeah, I mean, kind of, maybe a little. Talk to a lot of people on YouTube. Agree a little, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. I guess I'll just like mostly disagree. You were too much about what other people think. I would say I mostly agree with that. A lot of time I do worry about what people think a lot and I just want to please a lot of people. If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Yeah, I think, that, I think the walls are pretty cool. The walls seem like a good place to be. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there is not enough time to do everything. I don't like really say like I procrastinate because like I do try to do things. <laughs> but sometimes I do wait until the last minute to do things. I guess I agree a little bit. I'm not really sure. Um, you feel very anxious in stressful situations. Yeah, I agree with that. I mostly agree with that because I'm sure some people get more anxious. But yeah, like if I'm in a stressful situation, I get like really, really stressed out. So like, yeah. You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Yes, I do agree with that. You have always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things, e.g books, arts, or movies. I completely agree with that. Actually, I've always been into that stuff. Like since I was really young, I would always get super into like a certain show or a certain movie and I would just become like really, really obsessed with it. You often take initiative in social situations. Disagree, no. I don't feel like I'm good at taking initiative in social situations like at all. All right guys, so I have now put in all my answers for this test. I just pressed this results button right here and then I'm gonna figure out what personality I am. Yay! It says that my personality I am the mediator, aka the INFP dash T. What this is, it means that I am 73% introverted, 92% intu intuitive, and with my nature, I'm 97% on feeling and only 3% on thinking. <laughs> I am 84% per perspecting rather than judging, 72% turbulent rather than assertive. The mediator personalities are true idealists, always looking for the hint of good and even the worst of people in events, searching for ways to make things better. While they may be perceived as calm, resilient, or even shy, mediators have an inner flame and passion that can truly shine. Compromising just 4% of the population, the risk of feeling misunderstood is unfortunately high for the mediator personality type. When they find like-minded people to spend their time with, the harmony they feel will be a fountain of joy and inspiration. Being part of the diplomatic role group, mediators are guided by their principles rather than by logic, excitement, or practicality. When deciding how to move forward, 
They will look to honor beauty, morality, and virtue. Mediators are led by the purity of their intent, not rewards and punishments. People who share the mediator personality type are proud of this quality, but not everyone understands the drive behind these feelings and it can lead to isolation. We know what we are, but not what we may be. At their best, these qualities enable mediators to communicate deeply with others, easily speaking in metaphors and parables, and understanding and creating symbols to share their ideas. Fantasy worlds, in particular, fascinate mediators. The strength of their visionary communication style lends itself well to creative works. It comes as no surprise that many famous mediators are poets, writers, and actors. Understanding themselves and their place in the world is important to mediators, and they explore these ideas by projecting themselves into their work. Mediators have a talent for self-expression, revealing their beauty and their secrets through metaphors and fictional characters. Some mediators are William Shakespeare, J.R.R. Tolkien, Bajork, and Johnny Depp. And it actually is like super, super crazy to me when I read the results, because I actually feel like a lot of it is like super accurate and I really relate to it. So if you guys enjoyed seeing this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos from me, because I upload videos in here really often. And if you click on the bell icon, you should actually be notified whenever I post a new video. And let me know in the comments if any of you guys have also taken this personality type. If you have, then you should tell me what personality type you are. But yeah, alright, well I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!